Hello guys, this is Quartox. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm excited to bring you a news update video of Survive the Night. And it is an awesome update that I can tell you right now because now the stress test dates and information have officially been announced and the first response from the community was great. You can find the information here on their Facebook news update page and it's the first post right here if we take a closer look at this post the people are excited and can't wait we get some information from the comments right here here we got the question again if there will be a single player and for now it's just be the multiplayer it works on a mac and linux besides from a normal windows pc and let's take a look at the details they announced with the stress test we get some neat pictures and some information and i just read to you what the developer states here he says so here we are five months after our expected alpha release oh our silly pessimism we're just about ready to introduce our stress test build you can expect the build to be up and running by july 20th to july 25th so in this week so basically they get themselves another month to set everything up and from there they write if you're happy with the build and find it entertaining enough and we don't have major issues we will leave them up longer so not just for five days if the community wants it longer up i think they just say it here so people get even more excited for the short time period but i think they will leave it up longer because they stayed after this this release date will give us time to polish and do some internal testing, something we have not had the chance to do much of yet. The project as it stands until stress test and initial build emerged is basically two parts, design and programming, handling world design from Brooklyn and the programming being done in the United Kingdom. So they have an own system, how they work together here, but let's just hope for us at the user end it just works perfectly fine and we can have some fun and finally jump into this beautiful world and that developer goes on and writes here once again and we know you're tired of hearing it we apologize for the delays and i think we're all tired of hearing it but we've spent the last five months completely rebuilding the game in an attempt to make it playable for a wide range of backers so with the new engine as we said that will bring some performance upgrades as well and not only the graphic will be more beautiful and everything will work much better than in the old engine but also users with a with a mid-range pc with not the most highest specs you can find out there can play the game without any problems now and that's something that's pretty cool so it's not an arc game where you need 12 graphic cards to run it smoothly it will actually be playable for everybody and he continues to write we've now created a network backbone and we're going to slowly implement all the features seen in the concept videos and first the concept videos were just a proof of concept and with time they will just integrate more and more one at a time and they're making sure that everything works before they're adding the next and building onto the system it's from the foundation built right and that is what i like at this game very much and the death rates here what you'll first notice is our testing zone is small in comparison to the whole island it's around an n8 of the playable area and we get also some beautiful screenshots that tell us exactly how much the size of the map is that will be in this initial stress test and the town and its surrounding consist of around 30 fully entryable and explorable structures so we can basically guess that some of the buildings we've already seen in the development video in the last one and also in the video before that so this is the area basically we get to play there will be some houses and these cool stables and all sorts of cool buildings we can try to survive when the zombies are in it will be a lot more interesting but what will we be able to do during this stress test guys and they state everything right here our town and its surroundings you can explore the map is six square kilometers at the moment it's big enough for 
the developers to test out the stuff they need and gather the information they need to see if it would work on a better scale. We will have some loot, some basic gunplay and there is not much to say about that. It will just basically PvP and the loot system is in and it's just the basics. We can find in the world some different guns with some different ammo types, some food and stuff like that and also some containers, that's pretty cool. So we will see how long that is fun. And I think that is what the stress is, is just planned for five days also, because how much fun can it be to just run around in a game where not really that much of a content is in, I think five days will, if the people stress it really out, the servers and stuff like that will be enough to get them more information. And then as they said above, they will add one system after the other. And at the end we will have the Survive the Nights game we were hoping for from the beginning and the list goes on with tree felling. We saw that in the last video and every tree in the world is fellable and then you get some logs out of it if you chop it after it lies on the ground and you can have like firewood from that and kindling and it's a system and it says here it's an interactive not fixed system it's an interactive system for non-fixed objects and it will eventually lead to an object placement, generators, crates and other interactive objects placed by the player in the world. So that's pretty cool. That tells us this game will have a great future regarding if you play with other players and build bases and stuff like that and maybe even uh, board off a whole town. That's pretty cool. And the next step is the fire we can make and that's something pretty basic, a campfire or fireplaces. And the next thing we have just a basic chat. So no voice communication at the moment. There will be just a text chat system. And that's what we got for now. We got a, a main menu. And with that comes also this integrated forum and bug system. And we will see how that works when it actually runs online on the servers and stuff like that for everybody freely everyone can access if they choose to then some sound options are in so that's pretty nice to see um, what they want from us is there right here test 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 jump run shoot loot open and close doors and chests start fires put them out let's see how many players we can get on the server how many trees we can chop down and so on and how the persistence works and stuff like that next point is reporting issues and as I said before, through the system, you can check what bugs already have been reported and maybe you can even take a screenshot and stuff like that and write a little comment. The next thing, YouTubers and streamers, please don't stream or record or stress this build. I don't think that counts for me because I'm part of the press release team. So I have not waited six months, so I can show you nothing, guys. I will at least show you something. And... I really, what I've seen from the screenshot so far, it looks amazing, so I don't know exactly why they didn't want to people to show some stuff off. I mean, everyone is waiting, over 8,000 people alone on Facebook, and I don't know how much people have actually backed and bought the game, but it's a big player base, and I will show you off some stuff, some cool buildings, and the tree felling mechanic, just the basic guns and gunplay, I'm just so excited to finally play it, so... I will show you a little bit, maybe I'm not streaming for hours and hours. I mean, I can understand that because in the streams and so you see the raw gameplay footage with all the bugs and if something doesn't connect for hours and that's maybe not what they want. But I think a cool edited YouTube video where I show off all the features and all the cool stuff you can actually do in the stress test will certainly be nothing bad. And also if we point out some stuff, you know, so that people are just aware of some maybe game breaking bugs or something is not a bad thing also. And if people need help, like a tutorial, like with H1 set one at the beginning, there were like tutorials how you can log in if you get a certain error message or something. So I think that will be pretty helpful and I will portray the game. I mean, as I see it, of course, but what I've seen so far looks amazing. We have the screenshots. They are beautiful and I think in the game it will run smoothly as well. Unity Engine is known for that it runs with not so good systems and I have a pretty good system E5 processor and a GTX 970 so it should run fine and should portray the game as beautiful as it can be. And the next point is 
can download or you're having issues with the build. If you're simply unable to link your account and download the build, please PM JB and he will take care of that and address the problem. And technical issues, just contact JT and state what your problem is. And there are also some more information. You can read that for yourself. But for now, we take a look at our map. This area is what we get so far. And we actually have two sides of the ocean and one small lake right here. And this is the big bridge we already know from the screenshots. And yeah, I'm excited to explore it. This looks like a little area in the hills. And here maybe the town or something or here. Looks beautiful. Can't wait to finally jump in. And here we got the complete map. So this area right here is just in the southwest of the map. And it's like you can see it, you can stack it up three or four times to get the complete size. It will be a, an immense big map. I hope that all the areas on the map are not just this hill and empty landscape environment. I hope there is like something really cool to explore on the whole island later. I really can't wait. And here we also see these beautiful screenshots and what we see here from the lightning and from how the game looks, it's just beautiful. Even here, the glow and the graphics don't look bad and anything. I mean, I really like the textures and stuff like that. And why not show it to the people? I mean, it looks beautiful. This tree alone, not bad, man. The whole environment looks cool. The grass doesn't look bad. And next picture with the bridge and the lightning. I mean, just look at the stones and the graphic right here with the water. It looks very realistic and cool. So. I don't know why they are afraid of showing it off. That's exactly what people want to see, you know. Another landscape picture before we come to this house here. And even that is cool when you can board up the windows later and stuff like that and create your own little base in these different wood cabinets and stuff. And here at night, pretty cool picture. That's the house from the video I think or a similar house or something but look at the reflections here looks pretty beautiful to be honest until we got a screenshot of the little small Eastwood Ridge town I think it is called so yeah people are excited guys now we got an official date July 20th to July 25th and that's all I can tell you right now. I will certainly bring you some information when the stress test hits. And if we get some new information in the meantime, I will certainly keep you up to date as well. And yeah, I hope you have a great day, guys. And I see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Quardox. Until next time, HEB out.